Hello, my name is Gerhard Adam, and in this module, we're going to be taking a look at how we can customize the TSO ISPF environment. In particular, ISPF is an application that runs under the TSO environment. ISPF itself consists of several parts, specifically the dialog manager, which is the component responsible for the creation of panels and the services that are being provided within the ISPF environment. We can use the dialog manager if we wanted to create our own applications using ISPF. PDF involves all of the traditional displays that we see, as well as the utility functions and edit and browse capabilities. SCLM represents a project management change control mechanism that is intended for program developers to be able to manage software development and the movement of software from creation into implementation. Client server supports the use of ISPF using a front end client that can run on a PC. The panels themselves, which are the defining element of ISPF, are predefined formats that have designated input and output fields that are going to be used for the exchange of information and for accessing the services. In particular, the types of panels that we have involve a menu selection, a list option wherein we have a set of services where we can list through the different items that might exist within a data set, for example, and the other would be the edit and browse mechanism. In addition, we have an action bar that rides along the top of the panel that can be selected for drop down menus, which provides a navigation alternative in order to be able to invoke many of the services that are available in ISPF. The menu panel itself simply offers a selection of choices that we can enter on the command line. So on the command line itself, we can enter the various choices that we may have here, or we may in fact invoke a TSO command itself. On the list, we have a set of choices that allows us to use the command option as well, just as we had before where we can issue TSO or ISPF commands. In addition, we have the option of line commands that can be directed to the individual entries in that list. In addition, then, the edit commands are going to allow us the command facility, again, that we have for issuing TSO or ISPF-based commands. We can also enter line commands on our edit screens, whether we have data or whether we are simply adding data. And then, of course, the data itself that is going to be input into the edit screen. Similarly, we can edit existing members, of course, in order to be able to delete entries, insert entries, and modify the data that may already exist within a particular data set. The action bar, as it indicated, is really an alternative method for being able to navigate through the various panels. So the choices that we have are going to replicate those that exist on the primary menu, as well as providing a different method where we can make a choice and simply move to that particular panel for the desired action.